Assalamu alaikum everyone, peace be upon you all. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you today in a um, pretty hard uh, time for our global uh, humanity. Um, from the offices of the Kalam Institute in Marseille, southern France. Peace be upon you and I hope that you are preparing for Ramadan in a good peaceful way with your relatives, maybe at distance not with them in the same location. Um, and I will uh, be happy and honored to be able to share with you some advices concerning uh, Ramadan practices, the benefit of Ramadan that is coming in two weeks now, inshallah, at the end of this month. And uh, also remembering us that being part of a, a Muslim, progressive, inclusive, equalitarian community is important even though most of the time, especially nowadays, it's going to be through, you know, videos and uh, video conferences. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you is uh, taken from our manual for Imams, uh, Progressive Imams trainings, uh, open to all and it's going to be free classes during Ramadan every week. You, take an, uh, you can take an appointment with us sending us a message uh, on www.calem.eu calem So fasting is something that is described in the Quran as a spiritual practice that purif pur uh, is about uh, purity and cleaning our bodies and soul. The Quran says, uh, Surah 2, verse 183, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you that you may become righteous. So the Quran describes the fasting during the, the month of Ramadan as a practice that has been taken by Arabs and other people on earth before Islam, as we call it, as, as we understand it nowadays. Um, and it's about being a better person. Um, some ahadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, describe fasting as the most spiritual practice in Islam, something that you can do in different ways, of course. Some people could not fast, especially nowadays with the coronavirus uh, issue globally. Uh, could not fast by stopping every uh, food, uh, every drinking during the day. So fasting is before anything else about purity and meditation. It's a spiritual uh, practice that is supposed to make us or help us to become better human beings, to purify our body and soul. And fasting during that month of Ramadan um, because of the uh, pandemic now, is going to be something even more uh, spiritual, maybe, because it's going to help us to understand that eating, drinking freely whenever you want is a blessing from God. And also moving out, going everywhere you want to the mosque, to the local mosque, to progressive uh, community, to, to share food with them after sunset, to pray together after uh, after eating, uh, to meet your family, to share food and blessings with them after the end of the fact, uh, fast every day might not be possible for more than half of, uh, of humanity. So that's going to be maybe, let's see it that way, an even more spiritual Ramadan in 2020. Uh, that's going to be even more blessings for those who are going to be able to um, go back to the spiritual source of our uh, uh, humanity, inshallah. Another big blessing of Ramadan is that we're going to have more time since we don't eat, we don't drink. Most of us don't go out now. We'll have more time for praying, meditating, dhikr, remembrance of Allah. Remembering that we are all coming from the Divine 
and that spiritual uh, that body material life is just a tool that Allah gave us to experiment consciousness slowly but surely to move on that path on that sharia on that spiritual path towards illumination Allah says in the Quran surah 20 verse 14 and establish the prayers salat in order to remember me to remember the divine that is deep inside of us praying meditating will also bring inshallah more taqwa uh, the 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 strength of that consciousness that we coming we all part of the divine it will also help us practicing uh, practice toba going back in arabic toba going back to that very very fundamental nature of of uh, human beings that is about uh, divine nature it will help us also to bring more peace and calm and serenity in our life and to practice also that unconditional love towards everyone and and to reflect upon that universal equality that should be the basis of every spiritual uh, tradition no matter your your uh, uh, faith-based community, your ethnicity, your origins, the color of your skin, your gender, your sexuality, your sexual expression, no matter what, we should all practice that consciousness of, of the divine nature that each and every one of us got inside of him or her or them. <laughs> Finally, I would like to um, encourage you to be part of a progressive Muslim community, even though it's sometimes it could not be only online. Uh, but that's already a lot because you will be connected. You will not be alone on that path, uh, especially during the month of Ramadan, the, the, the conscious of being part of a community to share with one another, even though it's not physically is very important and that's it's going to be uh, another blessing once again even though we could not go out we'll be able to share information prayings uh, uh, classes uh, uh, here in marseille uh, uh, at the kalam institute or online uh, during our classes that's going to be told free during uh, this ramadan during, uh, because of that uh, crisis that we are going uh, through uh, you you have uh, uh, organizations in USA and Canada, Muslim for Progressive Values, they have uh, mpv.usa, they have great material also online, you have progressive communities pretty much everywhere uh, worldwide, in Berlin, uh, in Copenhagen, in Tunis, in Jakarta, uh, in Cape Town, in Oslo, uh, in Buenos Aires, so uh, do not hesitate to contact us if you want to uh, us to share with you materials, videos, uh, uh, PDF books uh, to give you a free class uh, personally or to your group, to your community, local community. Uh, if you want us also to give you um, contacts uh, contact, uh, uh, of those uh, progressive, inclusive uh, uh, organizations, sisters of ours uh, throughout the world. And yeah, I, I really wish you a blessed Ramadan uh, be prepared, it's going to be in two weeks. Inshallah, it's going to be full of blessings like every year. It's the queen of month for Muslims. And um, if you need any support, any advice, if you have any information that we can learn from, do not hesitate to, to send us an email, info at kalam.eu or on my Facebook or Instagram page or Twitter, Ludovic Mohammed Zahad. Thank you so much. Uh, peace be upon you. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين Peace be on the messengers of God, peace be upon you and may Allah bless us with all the fruits of that queen that is Ramadan.